Welcome to this Windows channel and this is another video as we continue to examine each options in the settings menu in Windows 10. Remember, the settings menu in Windows 10 is also uh, close to the one in Windows 8, so you can check it out. Of course, some options will be different, but why not check out some of the options and, you know, understand a little more about the settings menu. So let's go into the settings all settings, go into system, and on the left side, go into notifications and actions. So this is where you've got sliders and um, basically what you can do about what's happening in your notifications and your quick action buttons. First of all, at the top, the quick action buttons, you can click add or remove quick action buttons by selecting sliders. So the quick action buttons are the ones at the bottom. If I click here, you see that I've got all the action buttons are here. But if I don't want some of them, all I have to do is remove. So for example, say I'm going to remove Network Connect Project Battery Saver. Look at my menu now. Look at how it's different. All that I've checked are removed. If I put them back on, you will see they are back on and here we are. So you can customize the buttons at the top of your action center, which are the quick actions. Then what do we have? We have notifications. First slider, it's get notifications from apps and other senders. So that means if you change this, if you re this is put to zero, well, apps cannot send you notifications anymore in the menu. Notifications appear just here at the top. For example, I've got a notification from Facebook right now. Then you've got show notifications on the lock screen. That means if your computer is on the lock screen, you're out of your user account basically, you will have notifications if you want that will appear over there. Then you've got show alarms, reminders, incoming voice IP calls and on the lock screen. So if you've got, uh, you've got some alarm set maybe reminders from the calendar, uh, anything that could be useful, you can show or not on the lock screen. So it depends on you know your settings, your privacy settings, basically. I notifications when I'm duplicating my screen. That means that if you, for example, have two screens with the same content, you might not want to have notifications to appear, so you can hide them temporarily without actually shutting them down. Then you've got get tips, tricks, and suggestions as you use Windows. And that is something that pops up from time to time. You might have seen, oh, uh, you know you can do this. Oh, you know that uh, maybe you could use this option. Have you tried this other option? This is part of Windows 10 experience. You can, of course, turn it off if that is something that annoys you. And finally, You've got the list of all the programs and the apps that can actually send you notifications on your computer. And what you can do is choose what you want to turn on or off in this list. This will enable to have notifications on the um, action center right here. So you choose which apps will send notifications because, you know, we don't want to have notifications on everything we don't have uh, or don't want to have like pop-ups that you know go from the bottom here all the time on everything so it lets you really personalize what you want to have in notifications on your computer if you enjoy my videos please subscribe to my channel you'll be informed when new videos are online give us thumbs up and uh, if you have any comments questions suggestions let us know thank you so much for watching hope you enjoy the videos